Well, we're joined on LifeFist now by Alex Cresswell. He's uh, Executive Vice President for Land and Air Systems at Dallas. Uh, thanks, Alex, for speaking to uh, LifeFist uh, on a day when uh, Dallas and HAL have tied up for the supply of new rocket systems for the ALH Rudra as well as the light combat helicopter. And that, in fact, uh, if I could ask my friend here to just show the systems there, these are the exact ones that have been contracted. So four each on 18 Rudras and 15 light combat helicopters have been contracted. And that's the announcement that Thales has made today. So Alex is going to take us through uh, that in just a little bit. Tal Alex, tell us more about this contract. So it's a great contract. There's uh, awarded today by HAL to Thales. Um, we're delighted to be able to supply uh, these launcher systems. As you can see, each one of them, 12 rocket tubes, and there will be four per helicopter, okay? So give each helicopter quite a capacity to deliver 2.75 inch rockets. So this launcher uh, is made of composite materials, which makes it very light. It's 50% lighter than uh, other launchers of its category, makes it the lightest, which means it doesn't rob endurance from the helicopter. Uh, you also can see here two of the versions of the 2.75 inch that can be fired from this rocket launcher tube. The top one is a standard uh, 2.75 inch 70 millimeter rocket um, with uh, motor warhead and fuse on the front. Uh, the one below is uh, not yet contracted uh, in, in India, but right. contracted in other places, which is a semi-active la laser-guided version of the same rocket. So there is a, a clear, logical upgrade capability of the rockets that are on both the ALH and the LCH. Alex, can you tell us a little bit about how this particular rocket system is different uh, from the earlier rocket system that HAL has sought to replace? Uh, that, if we're not mistaken, uh, is also a Talos product, uh, the, FZ, uh, the FZ-90, uh, the, uh, the rockets and the launcher. In fact, one of the great benefits of it is that it's not an advance. It's exactly the same, apart from being modern in the sense that it has a life ahead of it, it is relived, the rounds are relived. But with these NATO standard products, actually you want them to be the same, so they are interchangeable, interchangeable with the old ones. Um, so we have done no more improvement than remove obsolescent components and give each rocket uh, a, a, a life looking forward. So these rockets would be uh, deployable on the existing launchers as well. They're, Is that right? They're interchangeable with the existing launchers. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So, so, uh, but these are a, a more modern version of the earlier rockets, basically. A, a more modern version with a longer forward life, and that's the critical thing. They have a shelf life of yeah. many years now. Okay. Uh, you, when you talked about the the, the second one that uh, HAL hasn't contracted for. Is there a possibility of those coming in at some point? Okay, so be absolutely clear, the contract awarded today yeah. is for the launch. Launchers, right. The rockets are ammunition and the ammunition is procured separately by, by various different contracts by either the Air Force, usually the Air Force. That's right, yeah. Okay. And uh, we have many contracts going back many years um, and many more contracts that we foresee to provide ammunition to go into the launcher. This is the, the standard 2.75 inch rocket. Uh, this is the laser guided version of the rocket, which is in the future product policy and is possible in the future to be ordered, but it will be absolutely compatible with mm -hmm. being launched from the same tubes. Okay. Okay. Fits in the same tube, designed to be fired.